another up close video, this time looking at the brand new Tonic uh, dye and embossing folders. They're those, um, they're like 6x6 embossing folders that have a dye inside them as well that cuts an aperture um, from the design, which is great for a shaker, for adding uh, different elements behind, for adding a um, window onto the inside of the card, um, or even like having cute little characters that you've coloured it and you can sort of tuck them inside it. And they also have um, extra pieces on each of them as well. So here we've got a flower and a smaller butterfly, um, and butterflies and flowers, and there's even a, a vine on one of them too. So um, I just wanted to show you an up-close look at them while I've still got my samples that I've just made for the shows, because um, I thought it's it's really nice to show different examples of how to use things. And I try to, I try to use things in different ways so that... Um, hopefully it will inspire you to think out, like outside the box and how to use things in different ways as well. So, um, I think I've matched up the names right, but I can't exactly remember what they were called. But I think this one was the Swirling Flora, which is actually my favourite one. Just got these little cute flowers down here, I really love this flower. And that dye that cuts out actually matches onto this flower perfectly. Um, you'll see how I've stuck it back on top of one of the um, samples that I've made as well. Uh, so that's that one, which I think is called Swirling Flora. I should have labelled them before I took them all out of the packet and muddled them all up, but anyway. Um, then this one I think is called um, Butterfly Forest. This is my favourite butterfly out of all of them. It's a really, um, I don't know, it's just my favourite kind of um, style of a butterfly. I really like it. Um, yeah, so, and I love the um, floral designs around the edges of these, and this spray is really lovely too. So that's that one, which is Butterfly Forest, I think. And then I think this one is the Enchanted Wreath. I really like this one as well. Um, I've used it on a square card to get to these parts, but I've also um, used the central piece on um, a large circle die cut and also on a hexagonal die cut as well. It fits perfectly on them too. And you've got two small flowers in this one, which is always nice. And um, the butterflies kind of mix and match across the sets, so this one would actually fit on this butterfly if you wanted an extra butterfly to decoupage onto it. And then the final one I think is called Flourishing Vine. I think, yes, because that's got a vine in it, so it must be that one. Flourishing Vine. Um, I really like this one as well, actually, and that flourish is really pretty. So you've got some embossed detail on it, but you've also got the fine swirl detail as well. Um, and I really enjoyed colouring this one in. I wasn't that keen on this middle butterfly, but once I coloured it, I really, really liked it actually. So, uh, there are all of the different designs. There's four different designs. They're a 6x6 folder, um, and they're all butterfly and um, like floral, viney kind of themed designs as well. Um, but they're great for... Uh, you could do a really quick card, um, like just embossing it and like adding a few mediums or just, you know, something to pick out the pattern if you wanted to, or even sanding it back if you got the the colour core card that was um, popular a while ago, um, or even mirror card. Sanding mirror card back looks really good too. Anyway, um, yeah, but so they're great for quick and easy cards or more fussy cards like I tend to make. So um, I'll show you all my samples. So I tried to use things um, in slightly different ways for all of these. Um, if I show you this one, which has actually turned out, oh, that's not supposed to be on there, turned out to be one of my favourites that I'd made. This was using um, the butterfly dye and the flourishing vine from two different folders. They were the elements inside the aperture. So this isn't even using the whole folder together, it's just using the elements from, like, the extra elements, really. Um, and I thought the vine would work really nicely as kind of like um, a butterfly trail. And then I've added in the one of the sentiment strip dies as well. And then, um, in the background, I think you can see it, I've used my favourite one, which is the Swirling Flora, and I actually just, I took the folder like this, this side of it, the back side without the printing, is the raised side, and I just took Panama Rose, I just um, lightly touched it to the folder, and then you want to work quite quickly because they're hybriding, so they're going to dry permanent on plastic, But um, and then just quickly press it onto your background to get that image, so it kind of gives 
a stamped effect, which I really like. And it actually came off um, with a baby wipe as well. So you can't see any of the pink left on that folder. So that's one of my favourite ones that I did. Then um, I'll show you the one where I said about colouring. So here, um, I know the folders are square, but it doesn't mean you have to use them on a square card. So for this one, I actually split it into two pieces and the aperture would have been within this centrepiece, but I just squished it over so the aperture is smaller and you have one part on the front and one part on the back. And then I just used um, the Nuvo alcohol pens to colour in the design. It's not as difficult as you might think as well. I mean, it did take me maybe half an hour to colour that in, but it's quite a nice way to spend half an hour just sitting, colouring it in. And then for the bodies of the butterflies and also on that um, Celebrate Sentiment strip die, um, I added on a little bit of the Urban Graphite uh, Nouveau Glitter Marker as well, just to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, out of these cards, I think I've done seven, I have. I did film four of them, so there should be videos um, going up for some of them as well. And then, another one that I did, this one. So this was using that wreath one, and I said I uh, die cut it into a circle. But actually this one, or I embossed it into a circle, um, this one, I did it on the deboss side. So, although it looks embossed, I did it on the deboss side, and then I scraped the Nouveau expanding mousse through it. I used a mixture of the red leather and red leather mixed with the worn linen um, to give sort of reds and pinks and I scraped it through the debossed design and then heated it so it puffed up more where there was more of the mousse where it had sunken into the debossed design so it makes it look embossed again but it's actually the reverse of the emboss because I use the deboss side, which is why the aperture in the centre doesn't quite match up. You can see a bit of the white card blank here, because it, it's a window that goes all the way through to the card. But I quite like the look of that actually, having that little bit of white there. And that's just because this is debossed, but I embossed the card blank. So basically, this debossed side here, I, do, I would scrape the expanding mousse through it, trying to keep it as flat as you can, but making sure it gets in all the areas, and then you heat it, and it puffs up to give an embossed look, which I thought was really cool. And then um, I took a bit more of the worn linen um, expanding mousse and just um, gently added it on top just to pick out the pattern a bit more as well. And I did um, my favourite thing of tapping um, the expanding mousse onto that Will's Hand sentiment as well. So that was that one. Then this one I went really simple. Um, this was using that same one, the Swirling Flora. And I cut it twice, but then cut it down a bit. So this is where the aperture would have been, and the aperture is like an actual aperture, obviously, but it looks like it's just an edge piece on this one because we cut, so I did it like that. You can see where I've, I just trimmed it off here and here, and then I um, also embossed it and did it again, um, and trimmed it off, so it's now, there's now one behind as well, and I only added the mousse to the top one. So the back one is just embossed card and the top one has got um, sea spray green um, embellishment mousse on it. I think that's all I used on that one. And then um, oh, you can see here, you know I said that little uh, flower die that cuts out in the centre of that one, it fits perfectly back on top here. So I just added it on top of there just in the plain card just to add a little accent. And I also just added the flower top just down there just to, so you've got three elements that don't have the mousse on. And then for the butterfly, that's another one of the ones that pops out of the middle of one of the sets. And then I just layered two of them together. And this is one of um, Tonic Sentiment dies um, that says your anniversary too. I just thought that went nicely. And then I've used, um, I think it's Neptune something, um, the pearly... Uh, Nouveau drops, they sort of went together a bit there, but anyway. <laughs> then, I did a shaker card, because obviously when you see an aperture, shaker card just screams out at you. Um, and I also used um, lots of the separate elements to decorate this card, just any ones I had left over from my other cards I'd been doing. Um, just from white card, colouring them in with the alcohol markers again. And then I just used one of the sentiment strip dies to go across there. And I, I wanted um, to keep this quite simple, so I dry brushed um, some of the Pure Platinum Nouveau Embellishment Mousse over the background piece. And then 
uh, to tie the colours back in and to make the sort of shaker elements stand out a bit more I just used the same Nouveau pens that I'd used to colour all the elements and just did a stripy background um, just to go behind the aperture I really like that, how that one turned out as well I didn't film that one though typical isn't it you have seven ideas and you think I'll just film four of them and then it's like the three you didn't film that were one of some of your favourites ok then this one um, I was making use of the aperture again but not um, doing a shaker I just then used one of the other folders to emboss some vellum and just put that behind so it gives a kind of um, a subtle look and then for this one this was just out of white card and I just used um, Panama Rose, Royal Plum and Spanish Sangria um, Nouveau Hybrid Ink Pads to ink blend all over that and then I went back in with some of that pure platinum mousse to pick out the details on it as well so that's a really simple version of just using um, inks and mousses to kind of like jazz up plain white embossed card and then finally I did a spinner card as well so this is using that um, wreath one but using it with a hexagonal die and it fits in it nicely. This is one of the um, peony layered hexagon dies, you know the ones that they made as an extension for the hexagonal kaleidoscope lid. Um, it's one of those hexagons in that set. Um, and so I used that folder on the outside to do that and then on the inside I used another one of the folders um, and just did a partial piece so you could see that inside it too. And I just used um, some light blue card and then again I've used that pure platinum um, embellishment mousse I don't know why I was just in the, in the mood to use that one a lot um, and then I've just made so this is the butterfly um, was my favourite butterfly and I just cut two of them um, and stuck them back to back this was the one that comes in I think it's the butterfly forest one that butterfly comes in the centre of it um, so I just made that a little spinner card and it kind of goes um, diagonally across the card because when I do spinner cards, you can see from the back here just about, I think. I use the um, clear thread, but I like to wrap it all the way around the card when there's an aperture in it. I mean, sometimes you're doing it on a piece that you're then going to stick on the front of the card so you wouldn't see this behind. But I just feel like it gives it extra support. I think you can just about see the invisible thread on there. Um, and then the same up here, but obviously because the fold of the card was here, I had to do this off to the side a bit, but I quite like how that's a little bit offset then. And then um, for the Nouveau Drop accents on this one, they're a little bit rough and the body looks a little bit funny, but anyway, um, I did swirls inside the flowers and I was using the... Um, duck egg blue gloss and then the ivory seashell which is pearly as well because it just sort of went with the colour scheme of the card so um, yeah that's the, the samples that I made using the brand new tonic dye embossing folders um, and again I filmed four of them so I filmed which ones did I film now? I think I filmed this one, this one, this one and this one maybe so I filmed those four, and then I didn't film those three. But, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get them up around the same time as this video. I hope you enjoyed this up-close look at the brand new dye embossing folders from Tonic. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the different samples as well. I really like to try and include samples when I do these up-close videos, because it really... Um, like solidifies ideas in your head really of ways you could use them at home so um, I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching bye